the time that the scale of last Saturday's disaster was unfolding, on the pitch and on the terraces, a minute's silence. Here, at Ayrson Park, Middlesbrough, there were particularly heavy hearts. Nottingham Forest, Liverpool's semi-final opponents last week, had to overcome their feelings as First Division football, however reluctantly, resumed. Groom steps back into league football against the Borough on Saturday. Though the memories of exactly a week before were never far from the minds of players or fans. The sides walked out together to the strains of the Liverpool anthem. It was an occasion as sombre as the weather. Forest manager Brian Clough had wanted this game to put the smile back on football's face. It did just that, though Cloughy wouldn't have been amused when Stuart Ripley scored a smart opener for Borough from Kerr's pinpoint cross in 21 minutes. It was a signal, though, for the visitors to step up a gear, and within three minutes, Forrest were level, Nigel Clough laying on the simplest of chances for Neil Webb. The floodgates were about to open. Clough Jr.'s vision and intelligent distribution have forced him into the international picture, and having beaten another England hopeful, Pallister, he set up number two for Lee Chapman. Middlesbrough's misery was so nearly increased just before half-time. Steve Hodges' fierce shot was deflected onto Poole's crossbar. And when the ball came back into the borough area, Webb's chip was just too high. Leading 2-1 at half-time, Forrest were carving open the home defence with embarrassing ease. Webb to Clough and once more the woodwork saves Borough. Perhaps substitute Peter Davenport could stimulate a revival against his old club. Forrest, though, were to put the match beyond Borough's reach. Ayrson old boy Brian Laws screwed his shot, but Gary Parker pounced to make it 3-1 on 74 minutes. A minute later, Lee Chapman headed home the fourth. Again, Chettle's shot was going wide, but the blonde ex-Sunderland striker reacted quickly to glance the ball wide of the luckless Kevin Poole. Having been given the runaround for most of the game, Middlesbrough had a sting in their tail. Bernie Slaven blasted home his 18th of the season. A brilliant effort. Then, with seconds remaining, Ripley found Davenport in space, and the goal-shy striker at last showed us what he can do. 4-3 to Forrest, the final score, but football had been the real winner on a day when it needed to be.